Mr. Man would like to see you in his office. Okay. I'll be there in a bit. You better hurry up. I don't think he has all day. I'll be there. Mr. James, what happened at the site yesterday? I don't understand what you mean, sir. Are you having a case of amnesia, Mr. Oluren? Sir? Okay. Since you don't remember, let me help you. What happened when the physical planning and urban development guys came for inspection? Oh, that. Uh, the guys that came were subtly asking for bribe. And I told them point blank, we don't give bribe in our company. Now you stared the honest nest. This is my office, Mr. Okoye. You speak only when I ask you to. Sorry, sir. Since you started already, you may continue. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> you see, there is no point arguing with these government officials. We have to be able to give up to Caesar what he sees us. But we have paid all the necessary fee required by the law. And to the best of my knowledge, we comply with all the requirements needed in the development of the project. You see, we gave to Caesar what is Caesar's. Are you a JJC here? I mean, you talk as if you don't know how the system works. Sir, I understand how the system works. But as Christians, I... Don't bring Christianity into this, my friend! It's high time someone spoke some sense into you. You have a very bad attitude for business. With due respect, sir, aren't you all clamoring for change? When and how is the change going to come if we, who are Christians, continue to compromise? Uh, are you now saying that uh, our, our guy here is compromising? Uh -uh. That's bad. Uh -uh. No. I didn't mean that. Uh, honestly, with this your attitude, I don't know how this company is going to survive. Now, Mr. Loren. Let me make it very clear to you what our company policy is, in case you have forgotten. Results. Result at all costs. We don't like to step on toes, especially toes of government officials. In other words, sir, when they come asking for bribe, we should give them. Yes! You give them! Give them, let them go away so that we can continue with our business! Sir, as a Christian, I would rather resign than be a part of a corrupt system. And like Daniel, I have decided not to eat of the king's meat. Only and thou at it all the time. Well then, Mr. Oluremi, since you have taken that decision, you can go back to your office. I'll be sending my PA over with your little change. And that is because I see you as a family man. Otherwise, what I should do is give your salary to certain those guys you have insulted. You can leave now. See you later. Right,